So a while ago I was working on this boat and I had to make bearings for these uh, propeller shafts to go through down here. I've got one for uh, one for pedals and then another one back here that has a motor. Now for the bearings I was deciding between having a rubber sleeve like, like they usually do or making plastic roller bearings. And I ended up going with the plastic roller bearings. And I guess the point of this video is to give you an update on how they're doing. They're doing spectacularly. I've gone at least a couple hundred miles in this boat so far. Not super far, but you know, definitely a test. So these things have been running for hours at a time and uh, no problems at all. Um, and I, when I built them, I made them a little bit loose this jiggles a little bit in there so that any sand bits that get in there can uh, go through without getting you know crushed into the plastic and I have a couple little holes up here that let water run through hey let me just give you a, a quick drawing of what's what all is in there oh I should mention that one of the reasons I thought I could get away with the roller bearings is because the boat is not always in the water if it was always always in the water I'd probably go with the rubber sleeve but uh, usually it's out of the water, so it's not going to get barnacles, you know, gumming up the works. All right, I've got my propeller shaft. And then back here, there's the propeller. And then right here, there's a ring. And then here, there's a bunch of rollers. And those go all the way around, like... And then here, there's a PVC pipe that's covered in fiberglass that goes all the way up inside. And then on the inside of the PVC pipe is another ring of slightly smaller PVC that goes around, and that's glued in really well. So the rollers are held in. They're held from going this way by this, and they're held from going that way by this. So that way, if you take the propeller off and pull off this ring, you can pull out all the uh, all the rollers. And uh, there are a couple holes up here that let water get in, and it runs through and out there. And uh, yeah, I've had no problems with these at all. They work really, really well. I think I'm going to use these more often. So uh, anytime I have any spinning underwater stuff, I'm totally doing these. Um, but like I said before, I don't know if I would do them on something that would be permanently underwater because then, you know, it might get barnacles growing up in here and, and mess things up. And there is a video of me making those from scratch somewhere in some fairly recent boat making videos. Awesome. Someone reminded me to put the link in the description. I always forget to put links in the description.